overall well. Today I am going to be doing a haul, it's a reasonable sized haul from March and I'm also going to be unboxing Owl Creek Junior and also Fairy Loot. So I'm really excited um, about the books that I got this month. Uh, let's do the unboxings first and then we'll come back to the books. And before we get into that I did just want to do a bit of self promo. Um, if you have seen that on Daisy and Bee which is mine and Jade's shop we have a bookmark which is our dinos bookmark. We have transferred this onto a red onto Redbubble which um, we have a Redbubble shop as well where we sell final book support group merch and we now have Dino merch and we also have Daisy and Bee merch as well which is very exciting we're very very excited so um, I thought I would just mention it I will leave links to our shop in the description box down below both Daisy and Bee on Etsy and also on Redbubble Feel free to go check them out if you want to. I'm obsessed with how cute this jumper is. Um, and I'm definitely thinking of getting some more uh, clothing with it on as well. So I'm very, very excited. Let us unbox the Fairy Loot box for the month of February. Oh, this is for March. Threads of Fate is the theme for the month of March. And this is the spoiler card. So the first thing I did see was another one of these tins. I do collect these tins and this is from the book in the box. Yes. Um, so it's the feature book of the month and it is Don't Chase Fate, Let Fate Chase You by Axie O. And it's very, very pretty. I'll not mention the book just now in case people stop towards the end of the video i don't know this might give it away um but i do have a few of these tins on the inside it looks like this um i don't i haven't found any use for them so far but i do have a couple lined on the bottom of my shelves so there is that then we have a set of playing cards and it says threads of fate playing cards um, and without opening these up um, it says that the card deck features character artwork from four stories the artwork on the diamond suit is from six crimson cranes by L elizabeth lim spades are from jade fire gold by june cl tan clubs are from only a monster by vanessa len and the hearts sweet suit is from daughter of the moon goddess by sue lin tan so uh, this is like the last three or four books i think that we've had in the fairy loot boxes so very nice little addition there. Then we have some stickers from the Raven Boys. I did read the first book. wasn't a huge fan, but I have thought about like binging the series since because uh, I know it's one of Jade's favourites. So I have thought about binging it, seeing if, if it gets any better. We'll see whether or not I do that. Then we have a Ray Bearer cushion cover and on it it says, I don't know why I struggle with that. On it it says, only one thing is more powerful than a wish. And that is a purpose. Very nice indeed. It's absolutely gorgeous cover, cushion cover to be fair. I love the colours on it. I haven't read Ray Bearer though. I don't think I have any intention of doing so either to be perfectly honest. Um, then we have a Circe Woodmark. I haven't read Circe either and I also have no intention of doing so. Um, oh it's very pretty though. Very nice indeed. It looks like this. Very pretty woodmark. Then we have the tarot cards. This is part of a new celestial deck. So we have the magician and the fool, both from Daughter of the Moon Goddess, which I haven't read and I don't really have much intention of doing so. I'm not going to lie. Um, I just don't think it's going to be up my street. And then we have the book bag. So inside we have a number of things. We have the bookmark that matches the spoiler card. We have a dear reader letter which is very very pretty indeed the design of it is gorgeous and we have the fairy scoop which i'll look at in a second but then we have the book which is the girl who fell beneath the sea by axio um i haven't read anything from axio before i know they did xoxo which i was intrigued about but i've been leaning away a little bit from ya so i haven't bothered picking it up um these edges are absolutely stunning i'm not gonna lie absolutely gorgeous with so pretty um but yeah i may give this one a go oh look at the end papers i may give this one a go but the cover i know you shouldn't judge a book by its cover gives off very um potentially like very whimsy type vibes and i don't know if that's going to be up my street we'll see but this is beautiful 
and on the dust jacket it says deadly storms and ancient curse will her sacrifice save them all for generations deadly storms have ravaged amina's homeland her people believe the sea god once their protector now curses them with death and despair to appease him each year a maiden is thrown into the sea in hopes that one day the true bride will be chosen and end the suffering many believe shim Cheong, mina's brother's beloved to be the legendary true bride but on the night Cheong is to be sacrificed mina's brother follows her knowing that her that to interfere is a death sentence. To save her brother, Mina throws herself into the water in Cheong's steed. Swept away to the spirit realm, a magical city of lesser gods and mythical beasts, Mina finds the sea god trapped in an enchanted sleep with the help of a mysterious young man and a motley crew of demon gods and spirits. Mina sets out to wake him and bring him to end bring an end to the storms once and for all but she doesn't have much time a human cannot live long in the land of spirits and there are those who would do anything to keep the sea god from waking the girl who fell beneath the sea is a magical feminist retelling of a classic korean legend perfect for fans of uprooted and miyazaki spirited away it does sound really interesting actually i don't know how but i've never read that synopsis before it sounds really interesting so i may give this one a go um we will see but the book is beautiful uh sorry about the sun can't decide what it's doing today in the fairy scoop we do have an interview with the author axio and there will be a read-along which will start on april 21st of the book um and the next month's theme is bittersweet happiness and sadness love and betrayal all must come to a bittersweet end you might have been victorious but at what cost you can expect items inspired by the night circus stranger dreamer adi larue and there will also be fandom neutral items too we are thrilled to reveal this box will have two books and an item we have never featured before second book in the box is a paperback edition of a romeo and juliet retelling with an exclusive cover sprayed edges and digital signature interesting um so yeah that is the fairy loot box and now we have the owl crate junior box which i am really looking forward to and march is march is march's theme is real friends this is a really cute spoiler card how cute is that um so let's leave that out okay so we have a play foam pals with a surprise toy inside um i've never seen this before but it sound it looks really interesting so cute little game there then we have oh really cute pin it looks like they're giving each other a high five but they've twisted uh designed by sam dawson exclusively for al Creek jr and this is the pin and this is for ultimate high five enamel pin set uh with your best buddy or pin them side by side in an epic display very cute indeed i love that then we have this envelope that says letters by geneva envelope's gorgeous oh it's very heavy whatever it is oh rule one of friendship don't keep secrets it's magnetic it's a magnetic photo frame how cute is that i love it very adorable then we have another envelope oh which has cute little things in i knew when i met you an adventure was going to happen this is an aa milne winnie the pooh winnie the pooh quote uh you have been my friend that in itself is a tremendous thing eb white things are never quite as scary when you've got a best friend bill watterson q true friends are always together in spirit by lm montgomery Oh, and then we have a repeat of them. Oh, okay, two sets of them. Very cute indeed, little postcards. Then we have Ibu scratch paper stickers, Rainbow Friends. Ooh, pretty. Very nice, I've never seen this before. I don't know how it works, but maybe Thomas might like it. I don't know if he'll need to be a bit older though. It does say five plus years on it. Um, but you never know then we have the book which is by margaret peterson haddix and it's called the school for whatnots very pretty design and we have our we have our monthly card who are max and josie cute uh we have a signed book plate for the book and also a dear reader letter and then we have the book itself which looks like this 
very nice huge oh it's got artwork under the dust jacket oh that's lovely and colorful the story of this one is no matter what anyone tells you i'm real that's what the note says that max finds under his keyboard he knows that his best friend Josie wrote it. He'd know her handwriting anywhere, but when she wrote it and what it means remains a mystery. Ever since they met in kindergarten, Max and Josie have been inseparable until the summer after fifth grade when Josie disappears, leaving only a note and whispering something about what not rules. But why would Max ever think that Josie wasn't real and what ha what are what nots? As Max sets out to uncover what happened to Josie and what she is and isn't, Little does he know she's fighting to find him again too. But there are forces trying to keep Max and Josie from ever seeing each other again because Josie wasn't supposed to be real. Master of suspense and middle grade thrillers, Margaret Peterson Haddix delivers another page to any standalone adventure that delves into the power of privilege, the question of humanity and the importance of true friendship. That sounds brilliant. I am so here for that. It sounds great. I'm really looking forward to it. So um, yeah two rather interesting books in the book boxes this month and then next month's theme is twisted tales um sounds amazing so very very excited indeed so those are the book boxes so now we have the books that i've hauled um so i have a stack of books that i've bought myself a stack that have been gifted and a stack that have come from publishers so let's go through the publisher books first um and show you what i got so the first one that i have is london with love from sarah manning and this one comes out in the uk on the 5th of may and it is a romance uh, some journeys last a lifetime and uh, it is a romance in the city of nine million people why do they keep finding each other and i'm really looking forward to it, it sounds really really good um i think it's set over the romantic and unforgettable story of two people whose lives keeps crossing each other over the years 20 years we follow them over so i'm really looking forward to this one i am doing a review on this one um in the month of may so i will be reading it probably then if not towards the end of april but i'm really looking forward to it and thank you to Hora and Starton for sending me this one as well. I really do appreciate it. Then we have Terms and Conditions by Lauren Asher, which is the second in the Dreamland Billionaires um, series. And thank you to Pitticus for sending me this one. I do have the first one, which is the fine print. I haven't read it yet. I wanted to wait until this one came out so that I could try and binge them if at all possible. Um, but I believe that this is a steamy romance, possibly. I'm not sure. I've heard incredible things about this series, though, so I'm really looking forward to it. And then from Harper360, I have Gideon Green in Black and White by Katie Henry, which comes out on the 23rd of June in the UK. And this one says, Truly Devious meets Turtles all the way down in a critically acclaimed author, Katie Henry's YA comedic mystery, a hilarious stand-up of the hard-boiled detective genre that spotlights family, friendship, and love. I do like, like, a detective mystery-esque type book so i am looking forward to this one and uh it sounds really good so yeah looking forward to picking this one up then from the books that i have purchased for myself i do have forever wild and also running wild by ka tucker which are books three and four in the wild series i have read books one and two i gave a book one i think it was five stars maybe in book two four um but i am looking forward to continuing on with this series i am just kind of waiting for an audiobook of running wild to be fair because i have enjoyed the audiobooks but i will probably just physically read forever wild but yeah hoping to get to these soon and get either up to date with the series or finish it whatever is happening with this i don't know if ka tucker's doing any more with them but i am enjoying it so much so far so that's good then a book I did treat myself to after a recommendation from Gav is Come Closer by Sarah Gran. This one is one that I know that he's absolutely loved. It was in his top 10, I think, of the year last year. And I think it's a horror or a thriller. I know that Kayla read it for one of her videos featuring Gav and she loved it she absolutely loved it so I am very intrigued by it and I did ask him does he think I would enjoy it and he said yes it's only short and on the back it says there's no reason to assume anything out of the ordinary was going on strange noises in the apartment impulsive behavior intense dreams it wasn't like everything went wrong all at once shoplifting fighting blackouts there must be a reasonable explanation for all of this it sounds very very good I have no idea what it's about and I don't want to know any more than that so I'm looking forward to going into this not knowing anything at all other than what's on the back 
I also treated myself to Starfell Willow Moss and the Vanished Kingdom by Dominique Valente which is book three in the Starfell series. I loved book one and I'm planning on reading book two in the month of April. I'm hoping to get to book three as well to be perfectly honest and I did treat myself to book four during the come shopping with us video which I'll leave a link to up here because this video is not my only haul for the month of March um, but I wasn't going to rehaul those again because they they're in that video and I hauled them at the end of the video so if you want to see more books that I bought this month they're up there um but yeah Starfell 3 which I'm looking forward to getting to hopefully really really soon as well then I got The Justice of Kings by Richard Swan I do want to pick this up like yesterday uh i really 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 want to read this one i picked this up on the recommendation of cassidy she hasn't read it yet but i'm aware that she's planning on reading it in april um i know it was jade's buddy read for her patreon and i'm fairly certain that cassidy's ended up doing it as like a second buddy read for her patreon because a different book was picked so for the month of april so i do want to pick this up like immediately i kind of really want to get to it in april if at all possible so uh fingers crossed i can but i'm really looking forward to it it sounds very much so like judge dread and i am here for it because i love judge dread so yes please sign me the fuck up then i have a whole bunch of books one of which was uh inspired by gav uh, again he's wanted to read this book for a hot minute but he doesn't want to read it on his own keep your eyes open uh, if you're a patreon of mine gavs prisses or jades because there's a thing that's coming soon if it's not already been announced uh but uh, i've ended up picking up this book for that reason and it is shadow glass by josh winning this is like a horror and it's about puppets and it sounds fucking terrifying gav didn't want to read it on his own so we're going to be reading it together and i'm really looking forward to it we're not going to be reading it until september october um but i am hyped for it i'm really looking forward to it the cover's gorgeous as well so colorful so yeah i am nervous but looking forward to it then we went to two more bookshops we went to two more waterstones in manchester on wednesday while jade pris and gav were here with me and got some more books but i didn't haul them in my vlog or anything so i'm gonna haul them here now and show you what i got so i did get quarantine comics by rachel smith which is about it's a memoir of life in lockdown essentially um and i'm really intrigued by this one i think it's gonna be really good and interesting to read about so i got that i've had my eye on it for a while so while it was there i thought i would treat myself then i got battle royal by lucy parker which i believe is a romance potentially steamy i'm not sure um but i do think that it has um cooking in it baking baking there's like a operation cake program and stuff uh, the Bride Adores Sylvie's a quirky style. The palace wants Dominic's classic perfection. In this royal battle, can there be room for two? Sounds really interesting and it was incredibly floppy and I just saw it in Waterstones. I was like, I need it, apparently. Um, I also got Sword of Destiny by Andre Sapowski, but, which is the second-ish book in the witcher series it's not it's the second collection of short stories in the witcher series the first one being the last wish um and then the first book in the series i think is the blood of elves yeah um so i did want to get my hands on this one honestly i didn't find it in wigan and then i didn't find it in the arndale so i ended up finally finding it in the deansgate waterstones i thought i was going to end up having to buy it elsewhere but managed to find it phenomenally floppy very happy with that one um, and then I did get also The Ice Bear Miracle by Kerry Bernal, which I picked up because Jade picked it up um, while we are in Waterstones. And it is a polar fantasy and it sounds really, really cute. So I think it's polar fantasy anyway. It's polar something or other. Um, so it sounds really cute and I'm here for it. And I also got October October by Katya Ballon, which I've heard jade going on about this one she's not read it yet but it sounds amazing the cover is really really lovely and um gav said that he's got it but he's not read it yet either so i am looking forward to this one too and then i have a bunch of books that i pre-ordered from waterstones so we have rainbow gray eye of the storm by laura ellen anderson which is the second in the rainbow gray series i haven't read the first yet planning on reading it this weekend for jade's pokethon gym battle 24 hour readathon so 
if I have time, I might throw this in as well if I can get to it, but we'll see. But it's got the gorgeous sprayed edges, so I'm glad I pre ordered it because it's really pretty. Then I pre ordered Unlock Your Storybook Heart by Amanda Lovelace, which is her new poetry collection, and I absolutely love Amanda's poetry collections. They're so uh, pretty and just very, I don't know, just really enjoy them. Look at how pretty this is. So yeah, really looking forward to reading that one. I got Lucky Leap Day by Anne Marie Walker. This sounds exactly like the um, movie the leap year i think it's called with amy adams in it and it sounds exactly like that and i'm really really here for it because i love that movie so i'm very excited about that it is a romance i haven't read happy singles day by Anne marie walker but i've heard good things so we'll see about this one then i did get my pre-order of gallant by v e schwab i did get the plain one i'm gutted because i think i missed out on the sprayed edges from waterstones the waterstones exclusive so i do have the plain one but i also have the illumicrate edition as well which i've got to be honest i prefer the original cover i'm not gonna lie i do think it's prettier um the sprayed edges however are a nice touch but i don't think they're necessarily straight um, they are off center. Uh, the end papers are really pretty though and then underneath the dust jacket it looks like so. Uh, it's not signed which is a shame but I suppose it is what it is. So yeah I have two copies of Gallant one of which is an Illumicrate edition and then I did pre-order The Paris Apartment by Lucia Foley as well looking forward to getting to this one soon. Gav wants me to get to this one ASAP so I can tell him my thoughts and he can decide whether or not to bother picking it up so we'll see how soon I get to that and then a whole bunch of books that have been gifted to me so thank you to everybody that ever gifts me something thank you to everyone that gifts me something now in this pile um I really do appreciate it nobody ever has to give me anything but um I really do appreciate it you're all absolute gems so thank you very much so one of the books I've just checked, I did get myself, which is Celtic Tales, um, which is fairy tales and stories of enchantment from Ireland, Scotland, Brittany and Wales. This is a collection of short stories and they're absolutely beautiful, beautifully illustrated and I really do enjoy these books. I saw them for the first time at Jade's and I'm really excited to have this one. I did treat myself to this one so I completely forgot that I'd done that. However, Cece decided that she was going to add pretty much the rest of them i think there's just one more left but pretty much the rest of them to my collection uh because cc has no chill and she's the sweetest person on the planet so she got me russian tales which are traditional stories of quests and enchantments uh which i'm really looking forward to giving a read i do love like baba yaga stories and things like that so i am hyped for this one she also got me tales of east africa from kenya uganda and tanzania which sound really really interesting i've no doubt the illustrations in here are going to be top notch like really beautiful and colorful illustrations she also got me ghostly tales which are spine chilling stories of the victorian age which i think sounds so good and i'm really looking forward to reading this one i might save this one till spooky season maybe i don't know nice illustrations again and then she also got me greek myths which is written by jean menzies who i know is a booktuber i've been wanting to get more into greek myths but like knowing the origin stories and stuff so um because i have recently dnf quite a few like hades and persephone retellings and stuff because i don't know the original stories and i don't know if i'm missing out on quite a bit of information by not knowing them so i wanted to get into some more greek myths and finding out original stories and i think this will be a really good way of doing it because it's a really really beautiful book and it's got like all the important people and stuff apollo and artemis and you know gives you all of the information you need and some beautiful illustrations at the same time as well so thank you very much cc for gifting me all of those you did not have to ever 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 
but thank you i love your whole heckin ton on top of those from caitlin i also got monstrous tales stories of strange creatures and fearsome and beasts from around the world again another one that will match the set with some very bizarre looking creatures in it uh, so thank you caitlin for this one i really do appreciate it and then i do have a stack of books here from amanda so amanda doing the most thank you so much my love she got me winter tales uh by dawn casey i read this one while i was at jay's for polathon in february and i absolutely loved it and i just wanted my own copy because i think that my nephew would love it when he's growing up um so it's just a really really beautiful book with some gorgeous illustrations later on and i really did enjoy it so thank you amanda for adding this one to my shelves and then she also added a romance and two thrillers as well so she added the road trip by beth o'leary which i have read um the switch and also the flat share by beth o'leary and i think yeah the for her other two books and i know she's got no show coming out very very soon as well so i did want to get this one and give it a bash it's been out a hot minute um, and then I did get 56 Days by Catherine Ryan Howard, which I believe is a, a thriller about, uh, it's set during the pandemic, which we've just, we're still going through, but we've just gone through. And it's set in Ireland, I think, and it's following two people who meet in a supermarket queue in Dublin and start dating the same week COVID-19 hits. They then decide to move in during the pandemic and in together. And then it turns out that some while later, one of them ends up dead and nobody's sure what's going on and how or why it happened it sounds fascinating so i'm really excited about that one and then i did get rock paper scissors by alice feeney i haven't read anything by alice feeney before but i've heard incredible things about this 10 years of marriage 10 years of secrets and anniversary they'll never forget and it's soon to be a netflix series too by the sounds of things and i've heard great things so i did get that one off amanda as well so thank you amanda for those i really do appreciate it and then from Amber, um, I did get Brother Song by TJ Klune, which is the last book I needed in the Wolf Song series. I absolutely love this series so far. I've only read Wolf Song, but I now have the whole collection. So thank you so much to Amber for adding this to my collection. I really do appreciate it. From Larissa, I did get The Book of Cold Cases by Simone St. James. I'm really looking forward to this. It sounds really, really good. I know Simone St. James likes to do like... Um, a take on like true crime thrillers and i'm really looking forward to it so sylvia marino garcia has uh blurred the front as well so i'm looking forward to this one i had didn't get through the sundown motel but i am planning on going back to it at some point um and the covers match so i'm very excited and then from fran i did get echo north by joanna ruth mayer this is one of jade's favorite books and it's one of the books that i nearly picked up while i was at hers during polathon but i didn't quite get to it so i did want to get my own copy but i'm hoping to get to it during april because i am on team Ascana for the realmathon and we get to basically get extra points for reading polar fantasies so be rude not to wouldn't it really but i am hoping to get to this one thank you fran for gifting me this one and last but by no means least i'm really excited by this book i have east of the sun and west of the moon by jackie morris from tracy thank you so much tracy for this one again another one that jade was reading while i was at hers during polathon and had i had time i would have picked it up as well it looks really good but i haven't read the original east of the sun west of the moon yet it's full of illustrations um so i want to read that it's in my nordic tales book which is on my tbr for april i want to read that first and then i can pick this up again aiming to pick it up during april for a scanner uh realm thon and yeah i'm really looking forward to it so that is my march haul minus the books that I got while I was in Wigan Waterstones with the crew and um yeah it's a lot of books I don't know where they're gonna go <laughs> but I'm very excited about all of them very very excited thank you again to anybody who's ever gifted me anything but those of you that gifted me something during the month of March and thank you to the publishers as well that sent me books I really do appreciate it um but yeah that's everything I hope you have enjoyed chat to me in the comments down below if you see anything that you fancy or you really enjoyed and you think I'm gonna love let me know and I shall see you in the next one bye for now